السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good morning, good afternoon to everyone, everywhere إن شاء الله And may Allah سبحانه وتعالى make your day a successful and fruitful day your week, your month, your life as well Alhamdulillah, uh, last week was very difficult in UK regarding the weather. We're not very ready for it, but it's past now. We hope that this weekend will be a better weather for us, inshallah. So yesterday and today, I was going to talk about economy. Economy is not something that anyone can jump on a bandwagon and talk about it or only uneducated, illiterate, idiotic, individual, who she or he can claim that they understand it. Why I'm talking about this subject today? Because we have seen many, many officials, ministers, leaders, and others talking about the economy and destroying the economy of their country because of their ignorance, lack of knowledge, or their political drive. If you look at this image behind the, the title, I discovered at my age that I can make some drawing. Alhamdulillah, I can sell this drawing in the future to help you and to help myself and to help the organization. The title is Economy is not an idiotic lucky number. It's not for an idiot who have no knowledge about economy can talk about economy. Myself, I'm not a specialist in economy, but I'm a social worker who work amongst the grassroots, sometimes understand, sometimes don't understand, but keep learning from every initiative we take and every individual that I can meet or we can meet. That's why I'm a learning individual who understands some of the glimpse of what do we mean by economy. But I'm not a specialist, I'm not a professor, I'm not an academia. Economy for me, definition, it's one word or one sentence. It is citizens efficient productivity. It is citizen efficient productivity. Very simple. How productive is each individual or each citizen of our society or of our country? And depending on the efficiency of his or her productivity, will be able to talk about the economy of our country. But this will also be based on this six or seven point. Okay? We have to provide or to make these points and to make him or her very efficient. If a citizen's efficient productivity, based on social climate of the country, the program that we provide for each individual citizen, building the infrastructure of the local economy, sustainable, uh, uh, sustainable continuous of the process of building, efficiency and excellence of the process, our main objective and what's next. All right? You can actually look at it. Social climate, program, building infrastructure of local economy, sustainable continuance, efficiency and objective and what's next. This is the first one, social climate. Most important in these processes of building an economy is this one at the bottom. Citizens value. What is the value of the citizen? To the government, to the state, to the nation. Citizen for me is the most important individual or component or asset or treasure of any state or any country. If we don't value him or her, no economy will be built. Number two is state priorities. 
was it the priority of the state itself? This depending on if it's a solid state, fragile state, or if it is failing state, it's a democratic state, it's a state run by religious group, it's the state run by military, by security, by dictatorship. This is actually will draw the priority of the state and will value the value of the citizen himself. Third one, the political climate. What is the political climate? Are we free to speak? Are we free to build our country? Are we free to connect and communicate? Are we free to criticize? And what sort of freedom that we have? This is the basic line for building any economy. Point two here, do we have the legislation? Did we have laws or do we have the laws? Did we build this legislation system, the laws and the rights of every individual? Any individual, any citizen in the country will be able to be protected by law, by legislation, to get his or her rights. This is very important for the productivity of each individual to enable him or her to build the economy. Number three here, I said, I mentioned it before, freedom, justice, and protection. I talked about freedom, level of freedom that we have in our country. Who's going to protect me when I stand up and air my opinion publicly? Am I going to be put in prison? Am I going to be tortured? Am I going to be investigated? Am I going to be fairly treated? This is number three. Here, freedom, justice, and protection. And the top here on this social climate is independent. We should have independent state institution. Totally independent from the government. Totally independent from the prime minister and the ministers and the presidents and the kings and the queens and the prince and the princesses. Totally independent media institution. Not politicized. We should not be politicizing our media institution or our state institution. On top of that, what is the quality of the civil society sector in the country? Do we have a vibrant, strong civil society sector with civil society organization or not? This is number one, which make the social climate, which enable the individual citizen to be productive. So he or she could be a very important component in building our economy. Number two, the program for the individuals, any individual in the country. Starts from education, apprehension, and awareness. Goes from education to knowing the knowledge, the knowledge, the desire to know the knowledge, then the awareness. Are you aware of what's going around you in your street, in your area, in your village, in your uh, uh, city, in your district, in your country or not? Are you aware of what's happening in the neighborhood? Who is your neighbor in the country? It's number education. What sort of education will provide our children, apprehension, and awareness? Number two, how can the state build the belief and loyalty and alliance, allegiance to of the citizens to the country? How can be a real hero, want to live and die for my country, believe in my country, believe in my history, believe in my value, Believe in my uh, 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 culture. Believe, 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 believe. And I defend my country with my life, with my wealth, with my time, with my effort. Is the state able to do this? To let the individual will be able, the individual citizen will be able to be loyal and to believe in the country?
اكوينتنس معرفه اكوينتنس ها اكسبيرينس اند اوديشن اند اكسبرتيز ار وي از ا ستيت اور از ا جوفرمنت بروفايدينج ذيس بروجرام تو اور تشيلدرن ان سكول ان يونيفرستيز اور نوت تو جيف ذيم ذا رايت اتموسفير اند نوليدج اند سبجكت تو بيكم اكسبرتيز in what they are talking about or we just put syllabus which nobody can understand and is not applicable to the market the ability knowing or, or actually putting it as, 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 a, as, a, as, as one of the points that the, 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 in, in the program of building up such a strong citizen is ability or her ability eligibility and productions look at how we can discover and how can we increase and strengthen the ability of each citizen in the country based on the loyalty, allegiance, and belief in the country and the knowledge and the expertise that we provide to them. Sorry. After that, artisanship, performance, and competence. We have to give the citizens the tools to become professional in what they do, whether they are highly educated in their subject, whether they are manual worker. Most of the countries from the third world ignored the manual workers and they love, every one of them love to have a university degree and postgraduate degree. And they don't talk about the professionalism of the manual worker. But professionalism or artisanship should go from the medical doctor to the engineer to the plumber to the manual skilled workers to the builder to the painter to the mechanics. All this. This is, should be built in the system of the program that the state or the country or the government is making to get this kind of a strong economy. Strong economy is not a dream at the back of a leader who have no idea what he or she is talking about. I said, yes, some of the experts might tell such a leader to take us 10 years to go from A to Z. We said, no, I want it in one year. On what basis? When I marry my wife, my children will come after nine months. It will take him or her three to four years before going to the school. They will take my child to have 20 years in education before having his university degree. So on what basis such a, an idiotic leader will stand up and say, reduce the 10 years into one year or into two years? Competence, performance. Competence, performance. This has to be put in the program of building the city the quality citizen of the country. And the top one, and this one, it is the manual workers. I stress on the manual worker. Simple, easy, and here we go to try to build them to decrease the level of unemployment in our country. Simplicity in the program to build this kind of people and the value of the product that we are providing to the country, to, 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 the, to the market. So in the program here, which is number two, we've talked about education, association, belief, acquaintance, audition, expertise, ability, eligibility, production, artisanship, performance, competence, and the manual, simplicity, and material. This is the point number two of building up the road of economy. Number three, how can we build the local, I changed this, uh, the infrastructure of the local economy. The infrastructure of the local economy. We have to build the economy at every street, every avenue, every village, before we're starting to talk about the state economy. 
State economy is based from the individual economy to the state economy. And here, if we look at, uh, at uh, the bottom one here, the economy of the country or the infrastructure of the local economy will be based on the industrial units that each individual make, the commercial units that each individual make, and the local markets that actually we create locally. Why I'm talking about local units, kiosks, workshops, uh, work at home, we need to fight unemployment even from home by encouraging every individual at home, whether they are unemployed, whether they are retired, male or female, whether they are housewives, to do, produce a product to help the community, even if they are at home. It does not stop at people who are sitting at home only. Even the people who have special needs, sometimes called them disabled, we have to provide them or to train them to be skilled in certain kind of, uh, uh, in certain skills to enable them to be productive, to be a part of building the economy. From the retired men, male and female, the housewives, the disabled who are sitting at home, even the young people who do not have a job, to be working from home to produce to the local market. So they come back, they come come out now to build their own industrial units, whether actually in their houses, in their flats, or in the local market. Why I keep stressing on the local market, local market, local market? There's no strong economy without local market. Local market is the first stone or stepping stone of building a strong economy because it provides jobs, it improves, it, it has the products which is produced by each individual in the country and keep developing the local product produced by individual and take it from the local units and, uh, and, and local uh, and uh, uh, the, the industrial units and the commercial unit into the second level of that. We need to know the needs of the society. We don't produce products unless the society needs. And we need to cover the needs of our country first before we start talking about, we start talking about exporting. How can I export the product and my nation needs it? I have to be able to respond to the needs of the country and need to improve the quality of the product as well. See, in this system, in the infrastructure, we go from the local industrial units, I mean the industrial units, commercial units, local market, the quality of the product, the needs of the such, such a product, and the turnout of it. And the top one in this, uh, in this uh, uh, building infrastructure is what is the buying, buying power of my community? Is it on the level of the local market and manual product which is being produced at home or at local industrial units or it is on the level of the industrial uh, in factories and others when they become more expensive. So the buying power of, this, uh, of the uh, citizens, uh, the foreign workers in our country, they are a part of our economy. Don't ever look at them as servants, as useless, as taking the jobs of our sons and daughters. This is wrong. It is absolutely a blind, folded idea of an idiot who does not know the value and the quality, an idiot, an, idiot, an idiot leader, a leader who is idiot, who does not know the value of the foreign worker, foreign worker in his or her country. Because within the community of the foreign workers, they do the jobs that the local community cannot do. They may be more skillful than the local citizens. They have different culture to bring to the society, to the country, to the nation. They have different products that they consume to add to the value 
of export and import. They use logistics of the country and strengthen the logistic system in the country in transportation, in, uh, 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 in building the local market and the others. Also, also what? Also they have their own economy within our economy. Because our economy in the country will be made of the state economy as well as small components of local economies based on the different cultures and different backgrounds of the different societies that are living in my country. So such a, a leader who does not know, who she or he does not know their back from their front and say, that get, get on with the job and throw them out the, outside the country, those people don't know what they are talking about. Social component of the country. Of course, if I am a leader, I have to know that the ethnicity of my citizens, the cultures, the different cultures of my system, of, of, my, of, of, my, uh, of my country, the, of my, my, my people, cultures, values, uh, belief, and so on, so on, so on, so on. All this will help us building the local, the infrastructure of the local economy, which goes from the individual citizen who can produce the work from home and make it industrial unit or commercial unit to the local market, to the top, the foreign workers, buying power, social, uh, 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 social components and needs of the community and so on. Number four, how can we make our our process is sustainable, as I said, and continuous. Okay? It is to look at this constancy, growth, and they will keep looking at the growth rate of our economy and keep developing the economy, reviewing and A, and the, the equipment. In one country, which I keep mentioning its name, they kept saying for a few years ago or 20, 20 years ago that our economical growth rate is about 7 or 5 or 4 percent. In a country that actually 40 percent of it is under poverty level. Economy, gro economical growth is like the rain, the rain water, which comes, it has to reach the land and make the land green. If it does not make the land green, that means there is no economical growth. Unfortunately, in such countries, the third world countries, it stops at a certain level and the growth rate will be with the elite club but that does not reach the land. So most of the people in this country will, be, will not be able to enjoy the growth rate of their own country. In our program as well, we should look at renewal, huh? creativity, and creativeness. Creativeness, not, not greatness. This is creativeness. This is not greatness. This is creativeness. Creativeness. T-I-V, 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 E-N-E-S-S, not, not greatness. Creativity and inventing. We should encourage each individual in the sit in the each citizen to be creative, to be innovative. If I talk about the third world countries, most of the highly educated people when they come back to their homeland, they'll be stuck with the bureaucracy, stuck with the narrow mindedness, narrow mindedness of the individual people who are running the ministries the departments, and they force them to go back to the West. Because the West gives them the space, the, the, the facilities, and empower them, and increase their ability of productivity, so they don't stay. We invest in our children to send them home, to send them abroad, to get the experience, and when they come back, they want to serve their country. We have this actually expelling power. Cross-board, in the Arab countries, cross-board 
in some non-Arab countries, in the third world countries. We throw our highly educated, innovative individuals, citizens of our country, to throw them to countries who can benefit from them. And this is happening everywhere, unfortunately. And most of those young men and women are very productive, very well respected, not in their own country, but in other countries which valued their ability and their quality and their knowledge and their innovative methods of improving the economy of the host country that give them the ability and facility to become more innovative and more productive. Go back, we talked about learning, education. Uh, see, the first one was education. Here, as you can see it here. Education process and learning process is a non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Go back to learning here. Learning, training, and building. Keep doing it. Keep doing it all the time. It's a non-stop process to make the, content, the sustainable continuous in the growth rate of sustainability of the economy. Okay, this will take us, once we do all these sort of things, we'll take it to another stage because we want to become a leader. We want to become uh, not only a leader, quality leader, and to be able to direct others. We want through our strong economy to lead the economies of others. We want to be our strong economy to direct the international community or the regional uh, countries with us to this direction or this direction or this, to be a lead. So going through the first three points will take us to become a leader. Okay? And be able to direct the economy on this continent on this land, on the universe, according to our power, to our knowledge, to our expertise. And this through coexistence or struggling. If you are on the top, you have to keep struggling to maintain your position. Okay? You be challenging others. You be able to enable your people to become the best leader in this sector as well. To be the master, okay, to enable them. So if you want to build this, we have to go through all these uh, many points which I mentioned. It's not just a mere of luck. We we'll go from there to the international, actually, market again. All right. To maintain our high level of efficiency and excellence and leadership, we have to keep reviewing what we do, recording our failure and our success stories based on the research. Unfortunately, in most of the third world countries, we are not investing our money, our budget on education, research, and research development. We invest it in security, we invested on military, we invested on terrorism, counter-terrorism, we invested on intelligence, but not on education or research. You can't maintain this process from A to Z unless we believe in research, recording our mistakes and uh, our, our failure and our achievement and keep reviewing our performance. That's why most of the product or the new 
products, industrial product in the advanced countries is based on research financed by private businesses. But in the third world countries, the Arab countries, in some Asian countries, and Latin American countries, and others, they don't value the research and the education. They value military support, security support, intelligence, and so on, so on, so on. After that, we'll be able to get the high level export goods to control the market, the regional market, and the national, international market, and to create the big industry that would like such an industry to be in control of what we can do. And this is what actually most of the uh, superpower or the rich countries are doing. They want to control the economy globally. Lawfully or unlawfully, legally or illegally, to be in control. If we do this, we'll achieve our objective, which is building our economy. So tell such leader, tell such individual who does not know what he's talking about, what she's talking about, economy is not an idiotic lucky number. Economy does not believe, building economy does not believe in idiots who are in charge of a country, who are in charge of a society, who are in charge of a department, or in charge of anything. A building economy is a process, as I saw it, and the last, the last one is always, 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 always think about what's next, which means that you keep developing, you reach the 10th floor in the building, and you want to go up, keep going up, up, up to widen the scope of your vision and the scope of your knowledge and the scope of your connectivity. So in conclusion, we'll go back. Economy means citizen efficient productivity or citizen efficiency. That's it. Based on seven points, most important in the first one, is the value of the citizen. Value of the citizen, legislation, rights of citizens, freedom, justice, protection, civil society, independent state institution, independent media institution. Then the system of education, the whole program from education, awareness, association, alliance, allegiances, belief in the country, acquaintance, expertise, building, 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 all this in the, in the educational system in the country. It's not a mere lucky number. Okay? Then building the local uh, infrastructure goes from the local the industrial units, commercial units, and local markets. Go up to address the needs of the community, up Look at the foreign powers, foreign, foreign workers buying, working for us, buying power and uh, social component of the country. A leader or have to know all this before they talk about economy. Then from there to maintain the sustainable uh, growth that we have uh, through development, through renewal, uh, creativity, inventing, empowering people, enabling people, struggling, taking the market forward being a leader in the market, being the direction, making the direction in the market, and keep also this, doing this on basis of keep learning, keep training the generation to come, and building the infrastructure of the country. And from there, actually, if we don't believe in research, and reviewing, this, this, will, will, uh, this efficiency means research, 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 uh, reviewing and recording our, uh, our, our success stories and, and actually our mistakes, then we can create the huge industry to control the market and to export our uh, uh, products to the different parts of the world. And here we build our economy. And here, what's next after building? Them. So come back to conclude in one, one sentence. Economy is not an idiotic lucky number stated or mentioned by an individual who is totally ignorant, 
of what he's talking about and fooling the nation that they are listening to him. See you next week, inshallah, in another subject. Thank you very much for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.